Welcome friends, I am Tonmoy. So I welcome you all in my channel to study the history of molecules. This is a continuation lecture. Previously I have made two videos. One is about basic concept of Bach reduction. Second is the Bach reduction in presence of electron donating group like any solvents, OME or NME2 and in derivative etc. So in this video I shall explain the Bach reduction in presence of electron withdrawing group. Okay. The one of the best electron withdrawing group is carboxylic group. What happens? In presence of sodium and liquid ammonia, it produces this. Question how it produces? What happens? Sodium and liquid ammonia in presence of base first acid deprotonates to produce the corresponding corresponding carboxylic anion. And right now the question the electron will go. And we can see electron will come here, it's true. But electron will be stable closer to electron withdrawing group because it has a capability to stabilize and consequently what it will produce? It will produce this is as an anion and this is a radical. And this anion is stabilized by the resonance with the carboxyl group. So this and this. It may be little, you may be a little confused as how two charge is getting stabilized. I agree. But this Think about the reaction medium full of electron. So when a that much reactive species is spread over the uh, reaction medium, that is more unstable compared to this. So and here negative charge is on oxygen, so it is stable. And always the sodium will remain as a counter anion to counterbalance the charge factor. Okay? Okay. So here the radical and here protonation will not occur very easily because this is sterilized and this is O minus and if the protonation happens from ethanol that is also O minus. So no protonation will not occur here. This anion is stabilized at this position. Right now second electron if is provided it will go here and make this anion and this anion will be protonated to produce that final this is two hydrogen. Here double bond and here C O O minus O minus O minus and two sodium plus. So this is this is the thing. And if this work up is done with this material, so protonation will occur on these two. On these two protonation will occur and it will means it's a dianol type. So it will undergo tautomerization. It will undergo tautomerization to prepare one is keto and one will remain as in presence of H3O plus. So this and this is this. So in this way the Bosch reduction on carboxyl group or electron withdrawing group containing material occurs. Second, let us discuss this second example. This second example is actually mixed. Previously I have example about this OME means electron donating group and this is a mix of electron donating as well as withdrawing. So we know that in case of this, the metal ion will produce, this is the OME and we know OME prefers to go the electron on the ortho position. So chances are they are here versus here. But here there is a huge stability because of the withdrawing effect of this carboxyl group. So negative charge will go here. This is and as it is O minus and O minus. Okay, fine. So this and second step. And I will come here and protonation will occur here. So this is the final product. Now, since I have told that it produces this carbon and this negative charge, actually a negative charge is an oxygen, but it is a carbon ion type because if you consider this, so it has a canonical from this and this. So carbon ion is producing at this center, means this is a carbon ion producing center. So if there is a carbon ion, means it's nucleophilic in nature, and if it is nucleophilic, then any electrophile will react and methyl iodide is one of the very good electrophile because it attaches to electrolytic halogen and second iodide is a very good living group so in a SN2 fashion it attacks and this come back and methylation occurs here to produce that methyl okay to produce that methylated derivative CO minus O and CH3 and after protonation this this O minus is quenched to produce this moiety. Okay. Keep this example such examples in mind because apparently it's easy. 
but it may be given to confuse you. Okay, let us discuss another one example. This example, I believe, is a little tricky because here trimethyl ether of gallic acid is given, which undergo which undergo this batch reduction to produce a completely reduced product. Question how? And the reaction medium is sodium liquid ammonia and ethanol, that is batch reaction condition. And the surprising thing is that it's a complete reduction of it. Okay, so this thing I shall discuss. So what happens? We know that first reduction means batch reduction reduces this ipso versus para. And what happens? It will un under reaction condition this will produce O minus, O minus, and here this ONE, two ONE will be there, and here is hydrogen and ONE. And actually under alkaline uh, condition this ONE group can be a better living. And what happens? This one of these O minus conjugates. So if it go comes here, this bond comes here, this comes here, so it goes. So ultimately what this produces? After this ONE leaving, it produces CO minus and this is also another aromatic unit. ONE. Okay, and this is hydrogen after this ONE leaving. So this and right now this can undergo batch reduction again because in terms of sodium liquid ammonia and this is a benzene ring. So what happens? It will follow the same track. Means this ipso versus this para. So reduction. So the product will be this, this, here hydrogen, here hydrogen, and both ONE are here. Fine. So double two time reduction happened. Now what will happen? In presence of acid, in presence of acid, because H2 plus, and as I told that if the acid is is in presence of acid or pH around 2 to 3, this undergo hydrolysis OAB and this portion will be protonated. So what will be the product? You can consider this is OH, this is OH, double bond and here OH, OH, double bond. So, you can consider it's a three enols are there. One enol is this part, another is this part, and another is this part also. So if they will undergo to their keto tautomerism, keto conform by tautomerism to produce this one. So this is a tricky example. So I have explained. I guess you have understood this. Try to if you are confused, try to see this explanation again. I guess it will be easier for you to understand. Okay. Let's discuss two other examples using having electron withdrawal. You can see this is a this is actually an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. Okay, alpha beta unsaturated. Unsaturated carbonyl compound. So we know that this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound having a low lying lumo because of the conjugation with the carbon. We know that simple double bond can't undergo batch reduction but due to this conjugation this is capable to undergo batch reduction because of this withdrawal group effect. So what happens when this electron is given to this moiety it takes the electron and it takes the electron to the lumo and for example if the uh, means it's a, it's a radical anion so this is this, this, and these undergo tautomerism to prepare. Go the negative charge goes to the carbonyl oxygen. Okay, so this minus this, and now radical is on carbon center, and it is uh, radical on carbon center is relatively stable. So subsequently, it abstract another electron to produce the negative charge. Okay. Now you can consider, okay, that negative charge which we conjugated can come here. I agree, okay, it can come here, but it will not be stable because adjacent to atoms having, uh, sorry, uh, this negative charge can, with resonance, it can come here. O minus, minus double bond, okay. So, but this will be extremely unstable because two negative charge on adjacent atom will have a severe repulsion. So, negative charge will be stable at this position. Consequently, 
this will be protonated at this position. Okay, so reduction happens here after. So right now it's an enolate. It is an enolate. So hydrolysis in presence of dilute acid will first protonate this. First protonate this, and it protonates this is an enol, and this enol undergo tautomerism and ultimately produce this keto sub isomer. So actually, this is the alpha beta reduction. This is the double bond reduction. Okay, it's a it's a unique method. And another interesting thing is that during the reaction, that enolate is surviving. Means O minus this this is survived. It, it was stable during the reaction with medium because the negative charge is on oxygen. And another thing, right now it is true that this is conjugated, but it is conjugated with the electron rich center. So it's and another thing, this three one two three atom having four electrons, extremely rich. So this can't take another electron density and get further reduced. Not possible. So reduction will stop here, but it contains a minus charge, so it can react with an electrophile. For example, methyl iodide. Similarly, that it will come here and it will go. So, in if during that example, this electrophilic reagent are given, then also this uh, electrophile addition on this alpha carbon possible. So this is an another application of this strategy. Fine. Okay. And let's discuss the last example, which is about the reaction reaction of bromobenzene under this Bach reduction pattern. What happens? We may think that actually bromo could be considered as electron withdrawing. I know it has a plus R effect, but minus I is more dominant. Okay, and in case of halogen, it's true. Halogens minus I is more dominant than plus R. So minus I. So what happens? We can expect that instead of that, it may produce such type of derivative. Such type of derivative, or we we can consider plus R effect. If we consider like any salt, then you can expect that okay, it could be like this beer. But actually, no no one is the product. What happens during the reaction condition? During the reaction condition, sodium produces sodium plus plus electron, and that electron reduces this beer into carbonyl. Means this. Phenyl minus and sodium. Like, like we have observed previously in case of butyl lithium lecture, the reaction of this aryl halide with lithium produces that alkyl lithium means or aryl lithium. If you take magnesium, then it will produce lignite reagent, phenyl magnesium bromide. So in this way, it happens. After that, it abstracts proton and produces benzene. Final, and this benzene undergo Bach reduction under similar condition. To produce this one for added product, this one for reduced product. So this is the thing. To keep this thing in mind. This could be given to exam. It's easy but tricky. So if you don't understand the basic concept, it may be difficult. So what we have learned today: the Bach reduction in presence of electron withdrawing group results in the ipso para means ipso type and para type substitution reduction. Second point: Bach reduction in presence of carboxylic acid produces an ipso anion that is stable and that could be utilized further for electrophilic addition, like methyl iodide type electrophiles. And secondly, the these alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds selectively get reduced to this double bond. And finally, if if we want, then this. Alpha position and electrophilic substitution is means electrophile addition, methyl electrophilic addition is possible at this position. And finally, in case of this halogen containing this uh, adenes could be reduced and halogen will be removed and it will reduce like a simple adenes. So this is the end of my discussion. If you like my teaching, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel, Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules, and share this video among your friends, such that many people could be benefited from my info. And finally, please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. So see you in my next video.